here we have a portable ham radio station and let's just start at the left here we have right here the voltage display for the internal 9 amp hour battery here we have the input for the charger only a charger not a power supply so in this case it would be say a solar panel with a solar charge controller or a battery tender or just your typical 13A charger we have our switch double pull double throw center off here it is pressed toward the internal supply and you can see the radio display is lit now down here is the voltage display for the external input this can be a 13A power supply or an external battery but no charger in fact when this when the radio is using this circuit this one is disconnected completely so we can be putting the full charge into the internal battery down here we have just your typical 12 volt outlets all these are Anderson power poles and these are active in either on position and then here we have the HF antenna connection so in this box we have the handheld microphone and a pair of headphones or earbuds I guess and this whole can is a 25 millimeter ammo can and the 9 amp hour basically is the largest that will fit and fit the radio now as you can see this radio is a 703 so a 706 can fit in its place I can run a 706 full power using the external supply for however long is necessary or of course the internal supply for a short amount of time this orange piece that you've been curious about the whole time is a 3D printed part that I designed in CAD software and had printed over a course of a week I guess is however long it took so that's it that's the whole thing and it weighs the box is 11 pounds by itself the battery I believe is 7 pounds and then everything else you're looking at around 21 pounds for the entire box it's watertight the front and the back open and I'll show you the back here right now here we have the back of the box I'll go from left to right this is the power supply to the radio it is fused with barrel fuses 4 amp as required by the 703 I have a 90 degree connector uh, for the HF antenna input and then here is the 9 amp hour battery which is connected to the, the 3D printed control panel that's pretty much the simplicity of the rear I have a little bit of space here to put whatever but mostly this part of the box is intended to remain closed.